nice to see you, my young friend. <laughs> Good bring up. Revelio. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Rebellion. Alohomora. Revelio. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Revelio. That must be the pedestal. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is in this place as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. I should have run when I could. I can't sleep right now. Best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. I need to time this just right.
I see. A staircase straight ahead. Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Close tight. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. my chance. Invisible. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. 
Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Bombarda! Bombarda, Defender.
window. Bombarder. Potato. Stupid one. Defender. Bombarder. Stupid one. Defender. Bombarder. Defender. Bombarder. Potato. Stupid one. Defender. Stupid one. Descender! Bombarda! Defender! Bombarda! Sega! Bombarda! Defender! Bombarda! Defender! Bombarda. Potato. Stupid one. Defender. Bombarda. Defender. Bombarda. Depulsa. Descendo. Potato. Defender, Bombarda. Defender, Bombarda. Defender. Potato, stupid one. Bombarda. Defender. You are far from finished. Pass through the morning. She's gone. Dear sweet me. Let us always... May her memory be a treasure to us forever. You found me. But you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that, as you witness my memory.
Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable. Wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. And saw what I did for my father. Oh, Nev, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Revelio. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other Keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey.
Resource indeed, your I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted, and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me, and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just 
Never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... We've no secrets to hide. Speaking of secrets, I do want to tell you why Victor Rookwood's after me. He's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock's after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a porky that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig's asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps explain a bit about what we saw back at Horntail Hall. Of course, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. Even the centaurs won't know. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care! From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <laughs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. than Hogsmeade. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again.
Wonder who lives here. Sebastian, a lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. <sighs> Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Beldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. We just need to get Anne to the catacomb and work out how to make a dark sacrifice. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, we could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. said that travel broadens the mind. Glance off of me. Places, defender. I won't be. Oh. Oh. Uh. Here is no player. If anybody cares. I know. No. Bombarder. Oh. Defender. Oh. Confringo. Uh. Depulsor. Incendio!
my young friend. Nothing pleasant about this coast. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. It doesn't work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh, either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. Of course I care, Sebastian. We've come this far. Don't let your frustration get the better of you. Fine. I'll defer to your keeper friends. For now. But I don't like it. We don't have a choice. Now, shall we see why the triptych led us here? Let's go, quickly, before we're spotted. Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables. But it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Imperium! Crucible! Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Thestrals overhead? Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. Confringo! 
Revelio. I'm sorry we can both see Thestrals. It's certainly not something I'd hoped we'd have in common. Kill any you trespass. Wait, we should have some sort of plan. I'm through planning. They deserved. Revelio. What were you thinking? I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed. But I didn't. Looks like Ranrock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Ranrock's gonna make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that, Goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership. Yeah. Revelio. <coughs> you will regret Bombarder. Oh! Defender. Confringo. All of Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. I agree. Only good wizards are dead wizard. Ranrock's got that right. <laughs> Sebastian, wait. Wait? For what? Uh, why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gok said... Oh, your goblin friend? Stop it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing. To find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. 
any who oppose Renrock will be eliminated. Akio! Incendio! Confringo! Leviosa! I'm a goblin, not a toy! Incendio! Revelio! So far, so good. Charming. Spiders. How fitting. Imperial. Robada. Defender. Confringo. Depulsor. The world the of spider. Ah, almost as good as if I'd done it myself. Revelio. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Revelio. Confringo! Incendio! One nudge and that chest might have fallen. Oh, I think three nudges at least. These spiders are determined to make a meal of us. I'm sure they taste better than a goblin dinner. leading here. Whatever for. I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Depulsa! Confringo!
Look at this place. Not really my style. A bit much, if you ask me. Cruise. Finding these chests, luck or instinct. We've seen rune symbols like these before. Revelio. Confringo. Can't get out of here quick enough. Defender. 
Expelliarmus. Glacius. Confringo. Incendio. Nothing like an angry troll to bring friends together. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. That troll certainly made a mess of things. Debris everywhere. Repairer. That was a piece of work. More than one. Revelio. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Did you find something? A journal entry. Isadora was here. I'm out of breath after all of those stairs, but the view, well worth it. Revelio. Another barrier. We can pass through it, I'm certain. Revelio. This can't be a dead end. Must be another floor above us. The bolts Ah. Almost as good as if I'd done it myself. Good news? This journal entry sounds worrisome. <gasps> this place can't have belonged to only Isadora. But the Rebellion. truth is it pointed us here. Revelio. Another rune symbol. The Pulsa. Fluent in runic language by now. Glacius. Could this be another area? Revelio. Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. Re I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. The final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. Perhaps completing the triptych will shed more light on all of this.
not believe the journey this triptych took us on. This is it. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. Huh. Another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. I wonder... What is it? Let's find out. I cannot bring my brother back, Father. But I can give you peace. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. It did indeed. Of course it did. It's goblin silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this? Unnerves some. Well, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. Someone will be. took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroff, the destroyed painting. It was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes. Yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. 
You can wield it. You have the ability. Please, talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then, then for Anne. Why did the Keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? some exciting news to share. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented it. Pleased to be included. A blockade. Rookwood's poachers are already here. Revelio.
Revelio. I've not seen a trace. Imperial. The lamb returns to us. I thought we'd forget about that goblin helm you nicked. To be impressive. Bombard. You will not survive this fight! Uh. Revelio. It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to... The poachers do. Akio! There it is again. Revelio. Revelio. Shame you're so foul.
Revelio. Akio. Rebellion. Rest of momentum. Let's get you back to the room. Deke's going to be pleased. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Incendio, Confringo, Revelio. Did you find the phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... Keep it close.
Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words, and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. said that travel broadens the mind. Looks rather dark in there. No. You made it. I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive, especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. You don't think the room is about the truth, do you? The pulsar. I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Akio! Rebellion. Rebellion. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Fwooper's song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. Akio. Rebellion. If the Moonstone is here and so are Fwoopers, I wonder if it's being protected. Akio. Awesome. 
Revelio. Accio. Why am I not surprised? First the Fuipers and now this. Lumos. Lumos. Do with finding the moths. Lumos. Lumos. Deposit. Revelio. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Accio. Revelio. Lumos. 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 Closer look. You read my mind. Revelio.
Merlin gets even more beautiful close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. Defender! Given what whoopers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this Bombarder! Many... I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that the pictures haven't been here. As Rebellion! Soon as it's where the moonstone is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the Henge. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. Whatever it is, it had better have to do with Snidgets. The clock is ticking in that regard, isn't it? Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. How's your grand doing, by the way? Nothing keeps grand down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible <coughs> that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. I think we can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. <laughs> that was a moon calf dance. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Garan that I've managed to see not one, but two Moongarf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... I'd love to hear about how you and high wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, High Wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed High Wing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted moon calves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see... The night I freed High Wing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Merlin? I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in. But the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with High Wing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. 
From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol, and we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the Moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just... barely. I think the pattern's a... bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course! That's it! We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. Another adventure, are we? Perhaps I'll have my own operation worked out one day. People working for me. This place stinks of Ranrock and his cronies. No sign of Lodgok out here. He must be inside already. Look at the size of this mine. Something seems wrong! This place is teeming with random murder. I have to keep my wits about me. Crucial. Defender. Bombarder. Confringer. Incendio. Revelio. This card ought to get me deeper into the mine. Just like Gringotts, but I'm in the driver's seat this time. Something seems wrong. How deep will this take? Red Rock's gonna be pleased with our progress. Who was on that car? That has to be the end up ahead. Confringo! Rebellion! I wonder where these pipes go. Akio! Revelio. Let 
was meant for me. Place it! Rebellion. Revelio. Levioso. Revelio. Incendio.
Revelio. Incendio. You've won less follower, Ranrock. I'd better like these boilers if I want to go. I hope I can get to Ranrock before Lord God does. Another 
drill is complete. The wizarding world will crumble. <laughs> I can end this right now. I have to destroy the drill and stop Ranrock's law. Rather unwise coming back this way. Easy, my large friend. Rebellion. to stop this. What is this you've brought me? It cannot be. All this time. You knew. You knew where it was. Are you all right? I'll never understand you, Lord Gok. So, Gollum, that witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time, looking everywhere for the final repository, searching in vain for Bragmore's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now, I don't need you. I don't need any of you! I was bringing it to you. You are a traitor to our kind! No! 
brother's hand. No wonder he tried so hard to reason with him. Revelio! Now to get out of this blasted place. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. <laughs> 